So you know there are actually two ways to filter water. We have to chemically filter it to make sure it's pure enough to drink, but then we also have to make sure it's cognitively pure so that we believe that it's actually clean. So you know how it goes. NASA spends tons of money to create a high-tech water filtration system on the International Space Station. And then what do the headlines here on Earth read? Astronauts are drinking their own urine. And this is because of the cognitive sewage involved, all right? No matter how much we want to forget, that that water that the astronaut is drinking was that astronaut's pee just a short while ago, we can't do it. And this becomes a real problem as we start staring down the looming drinking water shortage here on Earth. But as uh, the big thirst author Charles Fishman points out, all water has been sewage at some point in the past. No matter how fine that glass of sparkling mineral water happens to be, that water used to be sewage. You can bet at some point in the past, no matter how distant, it fell out of, say, a dinosaur's cloaca. So this is all psychological contagion. The idea that two Two objects that merely come into contact with each other are forever linked. It's why this uh, cup of my urine, for instance, I could pour this out, I could wash it a thousand times, and I'd still be a little creeped out about drinking even pure drinking water out of it. It's also the same reason that uh, family heirlooms have this kind of magical quantity. Because, oh, this wristwatch once touched my grandfather, it was once a part of him, and so he is still a part of this object. And this becomes a huge problem for public support for recycled drinking water. A study from the University of California Environmental Studies Department found that 60% of people were unwilling to drink water that had come into contact with sewage, forgetting the fact that all water has come into contact with sewage. So what's the fix, right? Clearly we're capable of creating awesome water filtration technology, but if we're not buying the machine's ability to turn urine into water, then what's the point? Well, as it turns out, the fix is to insert a little nature into the scenario, or even the idea of nature. Studies have shown that individuals who are looking at water that has supposedly passed through riverbeds and streams and, and charcoal and dirt, they actually buy into the idea more that the water has become purified. So what about you? Do you have any issues with water that's been filtered? Would you drink a glass of uh, former astronaut pee on the space station? Let us know. You can leave a comment or a video response uh, below, and also be sure to subscribe so you can check out even more mind-blowing videos.